Hi, I'm Paul Westbrook with the Texans Jazz Band. We're going to talk about math and music, and today we're going to talk about pitch and frequency. So if I press a note on this piano, this is an A, and if you looked at the frequency, how many cycles per second, how many vibrations in a second this note makes, it's 440. And the term uh, that we use is called Hertz, H-E-R-T-Z, uh, named after a German uh, physicist, I believe. But Hertz is cycles per second. So that's 440 cycles per second. Now, if you look on the piano keyboard, the notes are A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then A, A again. So if you double the frequency, if you go 440, 440 hertz, two times that is 880, that's the next A on the scale. Those are both A's, and they're what's called an octave, octave meaning eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight notes apart. You can also go down an octave. So if this is 440, then this is 220 hertz. Those are all A's. Now, it gets interesting when you start doing other relationships. So let's take an A, and we're going to go up a fifth. One, two, three, four, five. That note is called an E. And the frequency ratio is roughly 3 to 2. So if this is 440, 440, this next one, this E, is 660 hertz. Hear those together? There's a mathematical relationship between the two. <clears throat> now we're going to make it a chord, and this gets really interesting. Uh, a major chord has a 4, 5, 6 frequency ratio. A minor chord, which just moves the middle note down a half a step, has a 10, 12, 15 ratio. Minor chord kind of sounds like, you know, haunting or something is going to happen. Major is happy. Minor sounds a little sad. But there are mathematical relationships between those chords. So there's math and music in many, many ways. Uh, frequency and pitch and chord relationships is just one of the many. Round, 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 I